Hi everyone and welcome back to my Multiple Careers podcast. First of all, I want to thank you for being here, for tuning in. I really appreciate each and every one of you who is part of this journey. Today's episode is episode number seven and it's going to be a very different episode from the usual ones that you get from me um, because today I'm going to make some confessions about my own career and honestly I'm feeling very excited but at the same time also very anxious about that. So the confession that I want to make is related to my own career, related to my multiple careers main YouTube channel as well as this podcast, uh, which is that things have not turned out the way that I expected them to be, not the way that I planned them to be, the way that I wanted them to be. And maybe that's something that you are also experiencing in your career right now. Perhaps you had some plans about how you wanted your career to be. You had all these career goals and plans, but then things turned out very different. Perhaps you don't really like what you're doing or things just didn't turn out the way that you thought they would and you're disappointed and you feel stuck and you're looking for a way out. And yeah, that is basically what happened to me and my YouTube channel a few months ago. I got to a point um, where I got to around 2,500 subscribers and I made over 200 videos, but something wasn't right. I, I felt a bit stuck at that point. I felt like I wasn't really producing the kind of content that I wanted to produce. And that led me to um, making some changes on my main channel. You might have noticed if you're following me over there and also starting this, um, this multiple careers podcast. So initially what my intention was with starting this multiple careers podcast was because I wanted to have a platform where I could develop a more organic process. Uh, which means that I could talk more open and honestly and in more depth about those things related to career, career change, multiple careers that were important to me and that I thought would be able to help other people. But then I started with episode number one, number two, and so on, and things just got a bit off track and they didn't turn out the way that I expected them to be. I kind of went back into my old mode where my content was highly scripted, not really scripted, but more outlined, where I had a whole outline prepared and stuck to that outline. And and yeah, it worked well. I mean, um, I, I, I think that it the result was that the the episodes were very well packaged, very structured, very clear, but I, I didn't achieve what I set out to do. So I, I felt that in the end, I ended up with a kind of very generic podcast with very generic podcast where I would list to you seven bullet points about blah 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 six ways to blah 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 which is which is all good and you might find that interesting and by the way let me know in the comments what what you think about about my my podcast up to this point but um, I also realized that there were some some thoughts and some things that I wanted to explore that I just didn't get to explore in in that format and that really really bothered me because what I noticed lately was that every afternoon after work, I and my husband, we would go on a short walk, just go outside and um, go to the park and walk for like an hour or so. And we would talk about how our day went. We would talk about the work that we did, um, funny things that happened, challenges that happened. And when we got into that, when we get into that conversation, I, I always would get to a point where um, I would talk about things that were really interesting to me. I had a lot of really good insights that I thought later on I would talk about to you guys in a podcast episode. But after that, I kind of just for, for, forgot about that. And I, I went back into my old mode where I, um, where, where I would prepare this outline structure and really go point by point. And that is not at all what I wanted because I felt that it just wasn't organic and honest. So anyways, uh, 
I was really, really bothered by that, and I thought that I had, I had to change things. Something has to change, but I, I, I didn't know like what and how I would do that. So I spent a lot of days ruminating and journaling and thinking about this whole podcasting, multiple careers, YouTube channel, and I, I asked myself what is it actually that I wanted to achieve with this whole thing? What was the meaning of all of this? Because you might have noticed that in a lot of my videos and podcast episodes even, I, I always talk about how you can have a fulfilling and meaningful career. But then at that point, I was asking myself, do I have a fulfilling and meaningful career? And, and what does it actually mean to have a fulfilling and meaningful career, right? Um, yeah, I, I thought a lot about it and I got to the point where I just went back to basics. I went back to the basic question of why am I doing this at all? Like, why am I going through all this effort of every week, several times a week, setting up all my equipment, thinking about the content that I want to talk to, recording myself, going through through this ordeal, and then uploading my video, like, like what is actually my intent behind this? Yeah. And what I actually want to achieve with my YouTube channel and this podcast is that I really want to help other people to build a career in which they can be happy, in which they can be fulfilled. I mean, a fulfillment is something similar to happiness, but much, much deeper. You have a deep sense of contentment and peace and harmony knowing that you are doing what you are supposed to do. And what does it mean to have a meaningful career? Having a meaningful career basically means that you do the things that truly matter to you. And it is not easy to find out what matters to you because there is so much noise outside there nowadays that distracts you, that distracts you from well, what matters to you, what is important to you, things like other people's success, other people's careers. It's so easy and tempting to look at what other people are doing and get distracted from your own purpose. Or maybe I would even go so far as to say that nowadays it's so difficult to find out what what is meaningful to you, what is purposeful to you, because, because there is so much noise. So, um, yeah, I, I just want to really help other people to find that out for themselves, find out ways of how they can access that, they can access that, that inner voice, because I believe that if you find that, if you really find out what it is that you want to do, and you follow that, and you focus on that, that is where you will find true meaning in, in your life and, and for your career. But how do you do that, right? That, that is the, the big question. There are so many tests that you can do, like personality tests, career tests, that can help you to find out what you really want to do. But while they may offer some insight, I don't find them as effective. And the reason is, it's simply because humans are complicated, people are complicated. How can you expect to fill out a quiz that has 100 questions or so and just based on that multiple choice test, find out what you are supposed to do, what you really want to do with your life, right? It's, it's not that easy. It is not. I mean, for some people, it is. Some people, um, since they were a kid, they just knew exactly what they wanted to do. But for many other people, and I think that's the majority of us, um, up to this point, we're not really sure what we, what we want to pursue, right? So I want to share with you one of the things that I've done, that I've done several times in my life that really helped me and that, that might also help you in finding what you really want to do. And here I want to introduce the concept of doing a free fall. Um, you know, the, that entertainment ride in the entertainment parks, which I think it's, it's called the free fall, where you basically ride all the way up in a ride and then they just let you fall and <laughs> it makes people hy hysterical some people laugh some people really freak out and yeah and then they fall down and stop right before they hit the ground safely and then there's the sense of relief the fear is over like what started out as fear um, ended in a sense of relief and 
maybe even amusement, right? And yeah, before I continue, I just want to say up front, I really hate those free falls, although I, I do acknowledge that there is some kind of thrill and some kind of fun in that. But anyway, I think there is an analogy that we can apply to our lives and also to our careers, which is that sometimes we have to go through that kind of free fall. If we want to achieve something meaningful in life, something that is um, not superficial, but something that is really important to us, um, sometimes we need to find new ways to to discover that and one of the ways is to go through that kind of free fall where we let go of all the preconceptions that we have we let go of all the information the knowledge that we previously had about something and this is especially very important for people who are control freaks like i am (laughs) and also overthinkers because people who are control freaks and overthinkers um, sometimes they zero in too much on a certain thing they focus too much on a certain thing which is oftentimes a a good thing because if you're very focused you can direct all your your energy towards that one thing but sometimes the danger of doing that of um, directing all your energy in in such a controlled way is that you forget about all the other possibilities that exist. And in life and for your career, there are actually so many possibilities, so many opportunities that you just don't know of, that you haven't accessed just because you are so focused on this one thing and and you you just can't let go you just feel that you have to control this right so one of the things that helped me to do in the past is when i when i felt that i was really stuck is to just let go just let go of the method that i'm used that the method that i'm used to the strategy that i i took and just try out something totally different something that i never thought of before So one example is that after I quit my job in banking, a few years after that, I tried to pursue a career in acting. And I had some success with that. Um, I I acted in many independent uh, films, short films, student films, et cetera, et cetera. And I had a really good time, but I knew that I wasn't making any progress. I went to so many auditions and um, acting classes and so but. It was really, really difficult for me to make progress. And one of the main reasons is that it's just such a competitive field and the odds are against you, which is the case with many creative careers, like if you want to have a singing career, an acting career, and so on. And that was a point in my life, um, one of many uh, points in my life where I felt stuck. I was in a rut and I just didn't know what to do. And I just thought that I had to do more of this. I had to go to more auditions. I had to practice more and just focus, right? And control the process, but nothing really happened. So yeah, that was a time where I also ruminated a lot. I journaled a lot and I just brainstormed of what I could do different. Like what could I possibly change about this process um, to, to make things better, right? And, and yeah, one of the things that I did then was Um, I read a lot of articles about other people's careers and and found out how they did things and I brainstormed, I I researched the careers of different directors, of actors and so and one day um, a friend sent me this article about this actress called Britt Marling. Uh, Britt Marling was someone who started her career in investment banking but then became a filmmaker. So she produced and wrote her own films and acted in them. And that was really a new piece of information to me. That was something that I never thought about, that I never thought would be possible. And that's where I went, hmm, this is like, this is like a totally different way of doing things. Why have I never thought about this? Like all this while I was in my little bubble, I was so focused on just trying to make headway with auditions that I didn't consider any other possible uh, paths and 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 routes i was just trying to control 
this way of doing things, right? But when I found out about Brit Marling and found out about how she made her own films, that is when I kind of went into this free fall, when I just let go of all my old notions about how you're supposed to have an acting career and how you're supposed to do things, and I tried something totally different. And that is when I had this new idea of just making my own films. I just wanted to break the mold instead of um, going, just going, just going to auditions and leaving my fate into the hands of others. I thought, yeah, I'm just going to make my own films now. I'm going to develop my own stories and I'm going to to act in them. And I'm going to give myself a job as an actor. And that is how I ended up making two feature films and being the lead actor in those two films. And I wouldn't say, of course, that these films are perfect, but they led to some success for me. I mean, um, these films got into international film festivals and I had the chance to do what I really loved, which was acting. So although there were things that went well, things that didn't went that well, but all in all, it was a success. And the only reason why that had become possible was because I allowed myself to enter this state of a free fall. And I, I really hope that sharing this experience will be able to help you in your own career if you feel that at the moment you are stuck with your career, if you feel that there has to be some change, that you don't really like your career, that something has to change but you don't know what. One of the ways that you have to approach is that you have to let yourself enter into this kind of state of a free flow, a free fall, free flow as well. Free flow meaning that you need to let your mind flow free, freely. So let go of everything that you know about how you're supposed to have a career. Let go of all your past plans and goals that you have and just try and start from scratch again and, and ask yourself if I could start a career from scratch today, what would I want like really let your imagination run freely and that is also one of the things that I'm now trying to do with my podcast and that is why you might notice that this episode is a strange episode which is really really different from the usual episodes right because it's just flowing flowing so organically so before I started recording this podcast episodes days before I, I told myself that I just got to take a risk. I have to change the way that I'm doing things. I cannot continue the same way because it doesn't provide me with enough meaning. And the way that I wanted to do it now and going forward is that I will start from with a question, with a career question that I ask myself or that I read online or that you might ask me so please do feel free to leave your questions in the comments section below um, because I'm, I'm not just saying this to entertain you I'm not not just saying please leave your questions so I will get I will get a, a, a ahead with the algorithm but I really do want to know what occupies your mind and what are your problems and your struggles with your career so this is how I want to do, do it going forward. I want to start off with a question and I want to answer that question in my podcast episodes in an organic way. And I hope that by doing that, I will be able to mine more information that is interesting, that is honest, and that, and that, that can help you. Because I believe that we, we, we learn not only from other people's successes, I mean, yes, that too, but we especially learn from other people's failures and also challenges and especially from the way they overcame, the, overcame those challenges, right? So that, that is the key, that is the key to change that I really want to find out and discover. How do people manage to make a change for the better, how do they improve their lives? And usually there is like one little sticking point, one little thing that you have to tweak, but first you have to find it. You have to find like where that sticking point is and what you have to tweak. And I hope that with this podcast episode, um, I'm going to make some improvements because I found my sticking point, which is all this while I have not given myself the opportunity to speak in an organic way, in an open and honest way. I have not allowed myself to 
develop my thoughts organically but instead of that I always felt that I had to script out all of my content I had to know in advance exactly what I wanted to say but it just didn't work for me I it, it just felt too stilled it to me it just felt too fake you might even say actually actually not fake because I do mean all the things that I say but I just feel it's 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 too planned there is no risk at all in that and sometimes if you want to discover something meaningful and something really great you need to you need to take some risk you need to do that free fall yeah so i think this is a good place to end um i hope you enjoyed this episode please do let me know what you think about this in the comments below and please don't forget to leave your comments down below um, and your questions down below because if it is a question that is relevant to this podcast, which, which is multiple careers, career change, how to improve your career, how to build a meaningful career, if, if that is something that's relevant to, to, to these themes, then I will definitely try to make a podcast episode on that. And while I cannot promise that I can, um, that I'll be able to give you the whole truth and um <clears throat> and answer that question in a in a very satisfying way but what i can promise you is that i will share with you my open honest and real opinion on that yeah so that was it episode seven <laughs> i feel quite good about this and yeah i'm really excited about the next episode and thanks again so much for being with me on this journey i really appreciate it and i'm really glad to have you here and i'll see you again next time